Watson. All 22 women who have filed civil suits against the quarterback accusing him of sexual assault and sexual harassment have been identified in court documents. The women allege that Watson booked them for massage sessions through Instagram and then committed the alleged acts. Watson has denied the allegations, and his attorney, Rusty Harden, has said that the sexual activity was consensual. One woman dropped her lawsuit when judges ruled that the women could not remain anonymous. But another woman filed a new lawsuit. She's a freelance makeup artist who says that Watson, quote, coerced, coerced her against her will and left her powerless, close quote. Texans GM Nick Casario has just held a press conference in Houston. This is new on SportsCenter. Yeah, I would say I really don't have any comment. Uh, I know uh, Cal and ownership put a letter out uh, a few weeks ago just relative to the organizational stance uh, relative to where we are. So I don't have anything to add other than uh, it's a legal process. We're respectful of the legal process and where that is. Uh, so we're focused on today. We're focused on getting ready for the offseason program and getting ready for the draft. So that's where our focus is. So I can't be the only one that finds it just a bit shady that these allegations of 22 women somehow surface after this kid, this quarterback, for the Houston Texans, Deshaun Watson demands a trade. And he also starts to criticize them for not interviewing African-American head coaches. Don't forget, the NFL is very tied into white supremacy. Many of these owners are white supremacists themselves. They didn't like what happened with Kaepernick, so it looks like they have a new strategy to deal with players that they consider to be rogue. 22 women. Now, one thing that stood out to me there, and I'm sure to you too, is that one of the women decided to drop the lawsuit after she knew that her name would be made public. Well, what are you trying to hide? And for that matter, how come none of these women have filed a criminal lawsuit, a, a criminal charges? You see, they get these lawyers, these ambulance chasers, these glorified insurance agents. And I have more respect for an insurance agent than a lawyer, just to tell you the truth. And they'll do anything for the money. They're now following the playbook directly from that ugly woman, Gloria Allred. She got her fame from suing OJ Simpson. And now she's the ringleader of the Me Too movement. But don't forget, Me Too is primarily directed at black men. It is a tool used to destroy black men. Say her name, Me Too. These frivolous lawsuits are a travesty and make it hard for women that actually suffer from these things. So I want to ask you all this. Coerced her to do things against her will? So now having game means rape? I don't get it. How do you coerce somebody into having sex? I didn't hear it physically held me down. I didn't hear he beat me up and gave me drugs and knocked me out. He coerced me? Well, you could have said no. So now if a woman says yes and then regrets it later, this is considered sexual assault. And again, to women out there that are really dealing with these issues, you should be angry with these women if they are not telling the truth. And this whole thing again to me looks shady. Massage therapists, my ass, more like call girls. This is a sex industry. Quote, end quote, massage. I don't know, but the truth will come out. I think that Deshaun Watson is the victim of a setup of a money grab. And I guess we're going to find out. But it sounds to me like maybe he got some services that he didn't want to pay for. And now these women feel like they should be paid and they want their money. And like I said, the truth will come out. Leave your comments in the box. This is Raw Status TV.